man, this is funny. Uh, Nico and I have been watching the card guy and talking about nine eights, and uh, I, it, me and him were both talking. Maybe it was this. Maybe four weeks ago, he mentions he bought one of these for fifteen hundred. He thinks it's going to be a two thousand dollar book soon. It's a two thousand dollar book now. Yeah. I, um, I, yeah, I love it. But uh, yeah, like these are the books that I just sold every time I touched them because I'm like, there's a thousand of them. Yeah, I mean, this is like what, what was it, like a hundred dollar book back in the day. I don't know, like hundred was a hundred raw pretty much, like in the BF. Yeah, I mean, you know? yeah, yeah, it's nine eights or three four hundred bucks, and now yeah. they're just through the roof. So these these iconic Marvel books are nuts. I remember I had this offering uh, for like a four hundred dollar newsstand. And because I, uh, or maybe it would have been 400 because I had like, I don't know, 50 or $70 in eBay bucks or something like that. And then I think it was just like, and it went after midnight and I was trying to get something good. So I, I canceled the offer because I wanted to use the bucks on something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. That would have been good buy. It would have been a so, good buy. Yeah. And, and you know what? It just, you know, what sucks. I thought I was going to buy and sell these things at the same price, like for my whole life. And they'd inflate like 50 bucks a year. Yeah, that no, they yeah. They, they all pulled an ASM three hundred and went nuclear all at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so I, I think John and I's strategy, and we're apparently too late, uh, is really to kind of hone in on uh, classic books that we all knew about when we were younger, when we were collecting both cards and comics, uh, because here comes the new money from sports cards people, and those are the books they're going to buy. Yeah. Oh, how many we guys think? We're too that, smart. Is that why this book is blown up? I'm sorry. Is that why you is that is that why you guys think this is blown up? Well, What's I going? think it's easy ide yes. identifiable. It's black suit. It's you know yeah. first black suit or tied for first black suit. It's an iconic you know A15 homage. It's just it's one of those books that when we were all kids, you know, it was a forty dollar book or thirty dollar yeah. book. We're all like, I'm saving my pennies for that one. Yeah, it I mean, checks the I mean, boxes. It's crazy. It's not. It's not even a newsstand. It's just no, no. Nah. no. I, I don't even know new. if I don't know if the card market or the new money understands newsstand versus not. Right. So I well, think they, that on the GTA screws it up. Yeah, they don't yet. But I think that's going to happen, and it's going to hit like a, a ton of bricks. And I think the reason that they'll take to it quick is because of uh, what are the shiny cards called? The foils prisms, or the foils prisms, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah I prisms. think once they start to get hip to it. That'll right. be their thing. Well, but, and but that's I why I see... like other weird books like yeah. Spider-Man 1 McFarlane Newsstand. You know what I mean? Because once they figure that out, I think those things that are super common in direct but were cool in Newsstand are now going to be well, sought after. And I, and I think that's the problem. Is like If you're just looking at GPA, it doesn't differentiate. Right. So they'd see it's a $2,000 book in Newsstand. Well, it's a $2,000 book. Okay. Well, this, did, did they start doing it or not start doing it? I uh, heard... No, not really. Some some yeah, okay. books, I mean, it's kind of like CGC. Some books are newsstand, some aren't. So I think they they only did it when it was like like when there was something significantly different. So yeah, price like, price differentiations are automatic, but then they still have like the aberrant book where newsstand is important enough that they will create a separate census for it. Yeah. Um, and then separate census gets separate GPA. All you know what I mean? Because well, even even spawn. I, Oh, you know what Spawn 9 is, but Spawn 1 isn't, which is kind of weird. Yeah. Right. You know, if I'm this gonna, is a I'm gonna, it would have been a $5,000 book. So just because it's more I'm rare. Gonna, I'm going to take over, Nico. Or, oh, it's me. Uh, oh, wait, do it know, up, dude. Do They're up. out of complete wacky okay. order. So uh, whatever. Sure. Uh, this book defies logic every time I look at it. It's the one book I regret selling more than any other book I've owned twice. Um, so 3K for a 4 5, which I mean, Jesus Christ! But we were breaking records back in the day. I mean, I know Sean broke records. I, I mean, it's it's. It, I, I think a year ago though, you could have bought a, 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 a mid nine for that. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's not crazy. Yeah, no, 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 no. I had, I had, I didn't break any records. I didn't sell, but that came in that Bronze Angel lot that I had. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, right. that's that's the one that I just I didn't bother. I didn't sell, but la but last year I did have it on eBay. Um, probably just about a year ago for thirty three hundred, yeah. and it and it didn't sell. And then our house sold, and then I yeah. uh, I put it away. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I, I'm trying not to do a ton of foreign books, but this this sale I had to talk about because this thing was interesting. Did um, you bid? Yeah, early. 
Yeah, um, I mean, so this, I, this guy. I bid and lost. And I'm, yeah, we talked I'm about still this. Hurt, I'm, I'm still fucking hurt. I want you to I, know. I should have taken a better image, but this was um, a book a friend of ours from the foreign group found <sighs> in Greece. He just liked it. He didn't know why. And then when he got shown it to us, we're all like, that looks real familiar. So it's uh, what everybody's kind of consensus is it's the kind of inspiration for Cinderella Love 25 by Baker. Yep. He at least Fuck had inspiration. Have it's a goddamn fucking a swipe, bro. <laughs> well, but I mean, some of, of the it's there, some of it's not. There's definitely two or three age romance book ever. There's two or three images in there that are directly kind of used in that cover. Um, so he definitely used that as reference material or seen it or something. I, I mean, there's no way not. And for a Greek random magazine from, um, I think the f early forties, yeah. um, and and Greece has been in you know turmoil and civil war through the forties and fifties, and for any of that to survive is amazing. Yeah. Um, he had kind of talked to someone like I don't know what you sell it at. I mean, I'd give you X and I'd give yeah. you Y, but nobody knew. He put it up. There was a lot of chatter on Golden Age groups. It hit fifteen hundred with a lot of bidders over. 1250. Let's let I think there were six bidders over 1250 on this bad boy. I think it's uh, awesome. This thing's amazing. It, yeah. it may, uh, there aren't going to be a lot of these, that's for sure. So, the, the other thing, too, before we kind of move on, is there's other magazines out there. Me and Nico always talk about there's other magazines that are homages to other stuff. You got to know what you're looking for. This isn't the first and it won't be the last, I'll tell you that. No, yeah. but I mean, we have the what is it, the uh, the Kirby image for. Uh, what's Fox Fox uh, Foxhole One? Foxhole One is Stag Magazine mm -hmm. Volume Two, but, number but that's one. an American magazine that's Correct. a little more Correct. common. This There's is a, a, a freaking Greek magazine. Well, and the other one to to pay attention to are the Golden Age covers that were swiped from pulp covers. Oh yes, yeah. um, and I think these are all kind of like emerging markets. The thing that's so beautiful about this particular book uh, here is that. I've seen one copy of Cinderella Love 25 come up to auction. It was from another continent uh, in the last three years, two, three years. Um, and then there's this. Those are the only two shots I ever had at buying either of those books. I, I threw a bid in just to be like, I don't want it to go this cheap, but if it goes more, it's cool. But yeah, I don't I don't have enough love for it, but I was like, holy cow. Dino do you know anything and I could snipe it. Do yep. we know anything about the the magazine? Is it like a travel magazine? Is it a women woman's magazine? Is uh -huh. it? Uh, I think nothing? it's a humor and and some stuff in there, random stuff. I, there were some huh. some images snapped. Well, Somebody's yeah, taking it's scans. Got comic stuff in it, right? Ish comic. -ish. Some of it, yeah. Yeah, okay. there's some comics. Ish. Interesting. Is is Cinderella love? I mean, so that that's a baker also. Yes. Yes. That's yeah, it's probably. This is not a baker. This is what we think he he kind of uses his reference frame. It's arguably the second biggest Golden Age romance book of them all. Okay. There's yeah. one that Baker did with the prostitute on the cover that's probably, yeah. a, a, I think, traditionally considered number one. But I think these days, Cinderella Love is, is traditionally considered number two. Yeah, it's, it's okay. up there. All right. Uh, this one just was a Golden Age that caught my interest. Mary Marvel's first appearance. And wow, I hadn't seen one sell in Whoa. auction for a while. So. That's cool. 2600 for a 75. I can't see all the images, so I apologize if I'm going real random, but uh, we're trying to get through them. But why does uh, she always get her arms raised like a field goal thing? All the covers. She was a cheerleader. Leave her alone. Yeah. yeah boy. Perfect Crime uh, 23. This is, uh, this is my second favorite Perfect Crime book, but it's got this creepy image in the shadow and the mirror. This, yeah. I don't see this one very often at all, maybe two, three times a year. DS um, snagged the last copy, I think, that was up in a, a no reserve auction. Which was much nicer than this one. So, yeah. It's Beautiful a book, book on the move, man. Yeah, you, this was one that was not thought about for a long time. Um, giant size there, what do we got here? Oh, uh, I, this one just, I was tracking X Men books and this one popped up almost 800 for uh, cable when, when the Ooh. movie came out, Deadpool 2. This is what, pushing four or five? So it's jumped again. I kind of think this one's behind when I look at uh, this one. Uh, Skylock for twelve hundred dollars, and I'm like, "Come on, dude! This one used to be so the weakest to first. Find. Of week oh yeah, the weakest first appearance of all time. Oh yeah, again, wow. not a newsstand. 
It's fascinating. <laughs> yes. Well, and I, to me, I, I understand this one, but, but I mean, people like that other cover more, the, the Lee cover, right? How about, just... the, how about the fucking Captain Britain book that's, I don't know, a, it's yeah. about twice as expensive I as a legit 90s book? Get I would die here. before I paid a thousand dollars. Captain Britain book. 8? That's like seven. First Betsy Baddock, that's like 77 or something like that. Like this book makes my and it's forward. newsprint and it's from England, so it's tough. Yeah, well, you used to be able to get a like a nine six or like two Gs all day on eBay. I, I don't know it. You know who knows? It could be like ten thousand dollars today. I don't. I have uh, no look, idea. The world's changed. You know what I mean? Deadpool non newsstand almost three K. That's crazy to me. That makes more sense than most things right now because just because he's popular, everybody knows Deadpool. He's easy. Oh, we're going into the Matrix. No, that's me. He had to, he had to move it. I, I got it. We're good. Beta Ray, new stand at least. Almost <laughs> grand. <Damn. laughs> All right. Uh, this bad boy is pushing 15 what? now. Like Do this. It. This one yeah. is crazy. Yeah, we had a 9 8 of that in. Uh, yep. uh, where were we at? Indiana? Indiana? Yeah. yeah. And it that's was uh, good, old, good old Sleepy was like, hey, um, and we had it. It was like, 200 bucks and he's like yeah. isn't this low and i was like checks it he's like i'll buy it right now he's like isn't this because he's you know he's yeah. a friend and i'm like nah dude that's about right and i'll well you know i'll, I'll probably give you two less than that yeah. and he's like oh no nah, never mind yeah <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. is this 5x yeah. in a year does that sound about yes, right it's, it's through easy. the freaking rough yeah. no. easy easy man wow like i I get that it's a cool cover, a great book, but I'm like, that much? Really? Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's. I think that's one that we've been book. in this hobby too long, and it used to be so cheap, and we can't wrap our heads around it. That's the well, book. I mean, it's dude, it's hitting. That's you know a year. Uh, well, you know, uh, two year ago, a year and a half ago, a Spidey three hundred, and a good deal, you get a nine eight for fourteen fifty. I mean, yeah. that'd be a good deal. It hasn't dropped below two thousand lately, but that's a. a I mean, I, I literally asked Nico. If you see an ASM three hundred nine eight, let me know. And I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> this is, but that's a trend, right? We're, we're seeing that with that McFarlane Batman. We're seeing that with oh, McFarlane, yeah, yeah. Zach, Captain America <sighs> Annual. There's a whole trend of cool covers that are just popping. I sold that four twenty three Batman nine eight for eight hundred bucks. The third print. Wow. It was, it was this like, one's crazy. When, when I listed it for not doing Calvin Ellis in the movie. When, when I when I put eight hundred when I put eight hundred bucks on it for a price, there was like there was like ten copies at three fifty on eBay, and then I heard it to Ching, and I'm like, "What the hell? All right, good for me, I guess." I don't know. Dinesh, yeah, why are they a hundred percent not doing Calvin Ellis? I can't get in trouble and say, but they're hundred percent not doing Calvin Ellis. It's, there's two. It's such a. It's such a very. Uh, are they a hundred percent not too. doing Val Zod? I don't know about that. I, I know no. that Calvin Ellis was the thing that was happening. And then let's just say the person that was playing Calvin Ellis, his company kind of disappeared. And now he's just an actor again. And it's not Calvin Ellis anymore. Uh -oh. hmm. It's a yeah, cool book know. though. But isn't this the second appearance? This isn't even the first appearance, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, well, first, first with the Superman on, but yeah. He's got, this is the low. Oh, the this crisis. Game. Crisis, yeah. Final Crisis 7. Yeah. 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 But it's still the right. image. That's what people are excited about. Yeah. It's First full. This, at least the guy yeah. knew how to write an eBay listing. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no shit. I look at Good books man. nowadays, but I, like like I do the market report or whatever, whenever he's not doing it, and I'll just be like, well, that was poorly listed, but did well anyway. <laughs> that was listed beautifully. <laughs> Yeah, it's horrible. It becomes uh, such a cynic. What the get the what fuck the out of here? Nine, nine. No, it's a nine, 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 though, dude. It's a nine, mean, nine. Come on, that, that's fair. Hey, no, hey. no, no, way, no. Any, no. Book, any book has been if that thing's been bagged and boarded since birth, it's cardstock, sharp corners. They probably didn't get soft in a bag. I don't, I have not, I obviously haven't checked the census because I don't care. But the that is that's a uh, that that's wouldn't be the toughest nine nine other than they don't give those grades out. But obviously that was graded what like at yeah, least six table. five years ago before so you, the label. You press that, can you? No. Yeah, I mean, well. yeah, yeah, you can you can do stuff to it, but yeah, you're not gonna. But like on that card, if you take the old dent in car stock, man, you can find it out. I got a, like uh, I got a couple of them in newsstand. That's why I ask. I got them for cheap. Eight of these on the census. There's eight of these in nine nine. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Just that, that's yeah. That's not surprising. Plus, it's an old book, and they used to be a little freer with nine nine. So, 
I think I have another nine nine on this on the list here, but I don't know. You do. Okay. Uh, this one just amused me. SpongeBob, 2011, number one for 250 autographed. I just thought that felt under undervalued the way the way the world is. Jesus Christ, right? So. Oh, That's this it. is the nine nine. So. Yep. To me, I would take this nine nine yeah. for more than the other nine nine. I was sitting I at home. I was sitting at home, wait, wondering if I should bid on this last night, and I did not. It's so got a cool label it. too, man. It's got the cool label. I wouldn't have judged you. Cool labels. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it's a it's a cool book. It's not going to go down. All right, little just not a little cool. nine anyway. If you guys could choose one, not knowing the price, which one would you have taken? Oh, this or the. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the other side. I, I'll, I'd take the Spider-Man 29.9. I might because it's it's it's. It was, it's so it's his second, second, second. Is it second? Second. Okay. Was he? I forget. Was Miguel here in three sixty five? The other one. The other one. Was the he? Census is crazy on this. Take a guess at how many there are in the census of nine nine. On, on this book. This book? Yeah. Oh, uh, there's got to be forty. Way too low. Really? Jesus. Wow. Oh. All right. Eighty three. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow. I still just think I still man, this is McFarlane though. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, that I mean that honestly that's a honestly it's a tough call. Uh, they were being like the first solo book. and stuff like that. Yeah, and it just yeah. That the the, the more nine nine is it gonna than there were Captain America comics number one on the census. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. Good. All right, that's a good stat. <laughs> oh God. that is a good stat. All right, this one just is a huge. Uh, That's our buddy one. Jimmy. Beautiful cover. Popped out. That's yeah, remember he was doing the the uh, uh, what you might call it Patreon or what's the thing where you pay the money? The yeah, Patreon. No, was it no, ki Kickstarter? Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Kickstarter on it. Yeah, yeah, he was announcing the Kickstarter uh, on our show. Did you say Patreon? I struggle. That's a really good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna do an OnlyFans. I'm gonna do an OnlyFans bad idea comic. <laughs> no one no I'm 100 percent serious about this. I see dance and go go. That's only Kimaho. No. No oh, boy. What? Uh, I just, this one is what? selling crazy money though. That's it's impressive. It's a beautiful cover, dude. It is. Is Hughes back to his form before yeah. he got lazy? I just like uh, Palmiotti. He was such a gentleman. Uh, I it was a terrible interview for me, and then a bunch of other people jumped on, and he loosened up and uh, told stories about alligators and his neighbor's basement that is like mob buddies in New York. He may or may not have fed people too when he was a kid. I mean, it was just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So bad interview because of me, but a good interview once came on to rest. Wow. Winter Soldier. Ooh. Man, this used to be fuck out of here. cheap, and now it is not. Um, that, this is not the time to buy this book. No. Not the time. Do you have the other one on there, too? No. I, I Does didn't. it ever come down? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it, that's, not even, that's not even the Winter Soldier cover. I didn't yeah. realize it, that. It ebbs right. and flows. Well, I mean, it's the yo-yo <laughs> book of the century, but in this goofy market, does this book ever come down again is what I want to know. I don't... Uh, depends how Winter Soldier plays out, I guess. Oh, it's going to be big. Depends, depends how it plays out. Um, all over the place. Bone one. That's Haven't a beautiful seen book. On a minute. Yeah. I sold my nine... Six for less than this a few years ago, and I got that one. Sorry, man. Oh, hey, that, look there at that. You go. Hey. Oh boy, that's seven hundred. Nice. I don't. I don't know if that's first to market. It's got to be close. That's first to market. Yeah. How does that happen? It was like one day turnaround. Thursday. Well, it's CBCS though. Is that? So do they do somebody, that? Somebody in Texas. They're probably moving right now. In. CBCS are quick right now. I actually saw somebody post yeah, so that. Somebody on, probably uh, went that route to get it in and out. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's that's. I mean, obviously, that's why. Well, they could but if you could get it, you could get it out this week. That's better than waiting uh, a month if you can't get it in. Yep. So. This book is definitely gonna be worth us in a month. Good to get the guy. Get this out there now. Get crash. Woo! Oh, I'm, gra say oh, I'm, I'm grading. Say. I'm grading all mine, dude. Jesus Christ! <laughs> but I, there were two sales for half of this on a newsstand, higher grades, the same day. So I, I feel like there was something wonky on that. I, mm -hmm. I should have probably checked into it more, but I just saw yeah. it. And my, my brain hurts. That's insane, dude. That's got to be a fake sale. Is it That's a cover? Right. Don't. Yeah, to fucking. There were two nine me. sixes. Or the dumbest. Blessed. The dumbest buyer in America. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? There's there's bidding wars. And then sometimes I'm always like, 
How come those bidding wars don't happen on my books? Never. True that. Yeah, I feel. You know like, what I mean? I'm like, dude. Yes. Never, never. And that buyer probably has a tenth of what we have in in uh, eBay uh, feedback. <laughs> yeah. I just use one yeah. right. We're, this, we're, this we're going to talk a little me. bit about that one. The hood. I mean, it's I, got I've a heard, loyal fan following. You know, and this is one a book I've heard spec'd on for a decade and like never actually seen much move. It's, I, I've picked up a few copies, never nine eight because it's beat to hell. But this, I was yeah, shocked to get this high. Man, yeah, those. There's that. That that's it. That that cover scratches pretty easily too. So the the black, um. Yeah, the black on that's got the easy scratches. So, yeah. like, you're not you're not getting a bunch more nine eight. So, if you want one, probably buy the nine eight. Yeah, that one beat as hell. I, it's one of those they always talk about being a good street level villain would have been good in the Netflix series, all that. But that one surprises me too because it's there's sixty six nine eights. I mean, yeah, but it was a pretty popular series, a pretty high printed series for what it was. Yeah, I mean, there's two signature series out of that too. That's that'd be interesting. The two signature series nine eights. Um, Canto. I, I yeah. don't know. I had uh, GPA record. I'm a little butthurt that somebody beat me. I want to know that. Uh, Josh from the foreign community sold one. He said three weeks ago for 400 bucks. And he's like, I about oh. cried when he saw that. Yeah, but you can't be mad at that. I mean, no, he's, you don't know. Yeah. yeah. L- lay and pray, man. Lay All and right. pray. It's a tough nine eight. Uh, for the record, you if you're trying to buy them, buy them raw out of Canada. They don't have the printing defect. You can thank me later. All right, so here's a couple that Nico wanted some additional photos on. Oh, boy. X-Men uh, so 4. What I do when I do these market reports is I fucking omit a ton of books that I think are suspect. This one ain't. All right? <laughs> like, it's just not. Lots uh, you of bitter names, at- lots of lots of high, high feedback. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Paying a premium for the newsstand. I mean, shockingly high number, but Omega Red's got a big fan following. Um, say what you want about it, but we'll show some that, uh, one at least that I think is, um, is the kid, what do the kids say? It's sus, dude. (laughs) This is, this is the, uh, yeah, (laughs) yeah. So this one's, uh, as they say, these are questionable. Sus. Oh, sus. Oh, I think it is. Take a take they're a better less, look at they're less take, a, take a better look at, at the uh, the thing. Now, am I trying to suggest that it's readily apparent that it's uh, shenanigans? No, but uh, when I look at a book that's less common uh, than Ultimate Fallout Four, if it's deviating, you know, substantially from GPA, um, I don't include it in our market reports. I just don't. Uh, yeah. So here you can kind of see where it's like, oh, eh, I don't know. Uh, not really enough to kind of make an informed decision, mm-hmm. um, but it, it's certainly something that I pay attention to. The last one, on the other hand, it is a complete shit show. I'm like, get out of here with that. <laughs> Come on. Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> ah, bunch of yeah. zero yeah. feedback. Yeah, yeah, so it would be uh, omitted from the market report. I probably yeah. wouldn't even put in those ultimate Fallout Four uh, numbers. You know what I mean? I just but there have been enough sales there that. Something's happening. One well, way it's not that a book hasn't sold at that amount. It's really about um, volume, like the rate, as opposed to the value, right? So, yeah. what I kind of wanted to do was talk a little bit about how people are clearly manipulating eBay, and they're manipulating you. If you don't think that they're manipulating you, or at least trying to, they're already manipulating you. Um, you know, book sells for X number of dollars, uh, and it's an invalid sale some bullshit with like a guy and a bunch of his friends or, or a propped up sale or whatever. Uh, and it's followed by real sales. Um, and you just need to be cognizant of that. I mean, um, people are less than scrupulous. I, I wish that everybody had kind of like a moral code that they want their own personal big code, but they don't. And so, you know what? We, we can we catch people. Like people yeah. don't think that like we know each other. Like we we've got shit lists that we privately put people on that that when people don't pay, like we I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I'm admitting illegality or something like that, but like it's like hey these dudes don't pay, and then a lot of times like we had um, uh, the CGC uh, like another, list is epic. Oh yeah, and then the, oh. the yeah and the, oh yeah that's true, 
And then like we have, yeah, we have other friends, uh, actually Ultra in here. I was talking about this dude and he's all, oh, yeah, that's his selling account. I have his buying account, <laughs> right? And it's almost the same name. It's clearly, it's clearly the same people. And, and I'm like, oh, shit, we get to block everything on here like that. And eventually they kind of disappear from eBay. Well, one time there was this, this guy kept running this auction for uh, a Batman Adventures run with like a 12 in it. And I would post in our group. So I was like, I'm going to win this auction again. Because this guy, he 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 has he puts media mail shipping and it never gets picked up. So he spends like five bucks or three bucks or something to pretend to ship a, a whole Batman Adventures run with the 12 in it. Uh, and the pictures of the 12, you know, it's this nice newsstand copy. And this is years ago. But like, and I'm like, no, I'm going to win this again because I'm going to get my money back. I'm not worried about it. The book's never going to show up. Right. And it's just like that. And then next thing you know, dudes, are, I'm guys are bounced off eBay. I call them on the phone and I'm like, nah. I'll keep winning the same auction off this guy. And he keeps saying it gets lost media mail. He doesn't even know it's me because he's doing this to so many people because he's selling a bunch of other crap. People, people just disappear. Don't feel, don't, don't feel, uh, you know, don't feel bad about reporting just full scamming ass people, man. Yeah. And I, so I, I, I want, I want to respond to what Dennis said in the live chat, right? Cause this is, uh, it's important to understand how these scams work, right? Like, and I, look, I don't know, maybe this isn't a scam. The point is it don't make the list or the market report. But you look at that bid there, see there's like uh, 600 feedback for $1,000 on this book, which I haven't even looked at the book. But what would happen is, you know, Bob wants to prop up uh, the price tag on a book, right? So he has, you know, his friend from their valid account put in a high bid. And then they have one of these dummy accounts that they buy from Fiber or Fiverr or whatever the hell it's called, uh, you know, and then they make a bid that's even higher than that. They don't care if that eBay account with zero feedback gets struck. They're just looking for the next sucker in line to buy the book at an even higher price. Yep. Now, is that what happened here? Hell, I don't know. But the point is, it don't make my market report. No yep. way, no shape, no how. And when you're like looking at, at books to you know analyze these prices, because I know that people that watch this show are doing the same things we do, you need to pay attention to this kind of stuff and do your own analysis and then compare other sales to this. And if we're not doing that, we're going to end up with an inflated market for books. You know, people are going to end up overpaying for books that don't really have a demand that commands the cash value that it appears that these books are selling for. It is legitimately like a hustle to create FOMO that is sucking the money out of people. And, and they're just like lemmings off a cliff, more and more cash, more and more cash. True, Unless but, we're really vigilant about stuff like this. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you 100, 100% on everything you said. But I will say there are people out here, uh, uh, me, me and uh, Steve here are two of these people. When we want something, we're like, okay, we're going to get this. Nobody's, you know, well, we don't think different. someone's zero feedback friend, friend is going to do this. Like I know certain things that Steve's collected, and he'd be like, "Oh, I was gonna throw the most ridiculous bid of all time, and I lost." All right? right. Things that you yeah, never that, think. Yeah, so yeah. whoever this guy, whoever six ninety one was, is like, "Dude, no one's gonna bid this thing over five hundred. I'm gonna put a thousand on it." And and, and could it could it, could well, it done it like that? I yeah. know because I've been caught with my pants down by not sniping and throwing a big bid up there. So anyway. yeah, and that's but, well, true, but right, like that's how you. I've done that terrible idea. Like, no matter what, I'm gonna win, and then I'll throw up some crazy ass number, and there's somebody else who will run me all the way to the ceiling, and I'm just like, why well, just overpaid by like 25 percent trying to be an asshole? Right. Hey, and and, so uh, says, and and by the way, I don't want I don't want to ruin my reputation as as uh, as uh, El Cheapo, but yeah. um, but but Sean's Sean's pointing out a DC Universe rare variants. And yeah. you know that that's that's for personal collection purposes, and yeah. for that I'll I'll throw El, El Cheapo out the window. And all mine right. mine's all Masters of the Universe, but yeah. But at the same time, just go. look how on this one how it says one retraction. There's a I, I've had people do that like as a second chance offer, and I've been like, screw you, dude. Your friend bid me up. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't fought, like. I mean, I know occasionally second chance offers come. Like I have I, I have retailer friends that do that who literally have like a hundred copies of something. But nobody's got. A, I mean, I don't think too many people would have a hundred copies of Spawn One Seventy Four sitting around. So I don't. I don't think that's the case here. But uh, yeah, I'm. I'm more interested in the retraction now. I. I. I don't. Yeah. I hardly. I rarely do auctions, but I do a lot of buy it nows and and and, and I don't know. Maybe half my listings are best offer. 
And I have been getting a ton of uh, retractions lately compared to what I did, you know, during most of 2020. Well, I think people got money in their account and they want the fastest thing deal they can get. So they'll, they're like fish in a shiny. Is that what right they're now. doing? Okay. Yeah. Cause if I, you don't I, respond quick enough, they're on to the next thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm lazy on eBay. Like uh, I don't put list stuff every week. I don't list stuff every mm -hmm. month, but when I do, I try to like, you know, make a couple grand. Right. So, um, I, it was less than a month ago. I did like three G's in a weekend on some random nonsense. 1700 of it was unpaid. Jeez. One was a best offer. Oh I'm yeah. Like, is this real life? It uh, so, you know, maybe I look like I, I sell uh, hot trash at the top of the market. <laughs> I keep good stuff. Um, well, just, eBay you know, is, so I'm eBay, a little bit yeah, like, we're gonna yeah, let you go to cards now because we got enough comics. I think. All right, so. let me uh, let me shout out Ronnie real quick. Ronnie, uh, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. Much love, brother. Very kind. Uh, <laughs> in the new relief bill, if you sell more than six hundred dollars a year on any uh, electronic platform, eBay, Etsy, et cetera, you will get a ten ninety nine section nine six seven four modification. Blah blah blah. For exceptions for reporting of third party network transactions. We've seen this. We just aren't educated enough to talk about it yet. It's 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 on our radar to talk about. Yep, for sure, for sure. Well, yeah, Steve, uh, did you want to talk about that or no? Well, you're not, you're, I'll, you're I'll do a little preview and maybe we can follow up um, uh, in another uh, week or two. But I mean, I, I you know, I do, uh, I did six figures um, this past year, and I have a not only an accountant, I have a bookkeeper, and I have spent over the past two weeks so much time with the bookkeeper and the accountants um, trying to reconcile what what eBay um, reports on a 1099K to all the miscellaneous reports uh, that they offer on their site. And, and it is just, I, I feel, I feel a lot of, uh, well, I'll say, I'll say a lot of pity that uh, that for people that are just selling six hundred dollars, or maybe you know two thousand dollars, that they have to go through this exercise of trying to match up what's on the ten ninety nine k with what's uh, in their other system like QuickBooks. It is, it's a nightmare. I, um, listen, I, I'm I'm in the yeah. middle ground with like Sean of enough to enough to get hit every year but not enough that it's a business and, and i just accept it and move on i'm like let the government rape me because i i don't want to spend the money to fight him because i'll spend more money like what you're saying on on the back end and i think the other issue too is like you know whatever you want to say about it i think it's the drasticness of it it's like twenty thousand to six hundred is a bit i mean i can see 20 to 10 20 to you know 15 whatever but it's like 20 to 6 is well, the government no just looked at all those people that were making somewhere between 20 and six and said, I want that money. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's, and it's not, it's not, it's not cool. Here's yeah. a couple more uh, comics that we left off this uh, daredevil. Oh, I was just TV trying to keep TV. us moving. <laughs> oh, it's all good. 1.0 for, for 1125. Wow. But this book, in my opinion, has been waiting on a jump for a while. I think it's one of the most. ugly one point oh. It is very ugly. I don't think I could own that one either. Uh, Captain America Annual Eight. This was brought up, I think, earlier. Oh, yeah, damn it. yeah. Uh, Five thirty-seven. Looking for a newsstand. I hope he found his. Yep. Uh, here we go. Is the oh. Tales of Suspense fifty-seven CGC five point oh sold for seven sixty? We so talked about that being undervalued. Considering Aaron, everything uh, else that's low right now, I was literally looking for one. I sold my six five like an idiot. So, oh, yeah. 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 You know, it's, it's the same thing with Captain America 117. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that when America when Winter Soldier movement comes up. So This is the type of stuff I love seeing. I love old school movie posters, originals, and uh, this is a 1949 New Adventures of Batman and Robin. It's like a serial back then that they did before the movies, and uh, this is Chapter 8, one sheet, sold uh, for $1,400. Pretty damn cool. Um, shout out to the Modern Comic Mayhem guys uh, who showed a really cool piece off um, a Superman 1960s animation sales sheet thing that they would give the salesman to go around and just try to sell the show off. 
So all this type of uh, ephemera, it, it sells. People collect the hell out of it. So, um, all right, some quick comic or card sales. This was very interesting to me. A 1992 OPG Mario Lemieux 8586 reprint. This isn't even his rookie card. This oh, isn't even boy. what his rookie card looks like. It's supposed to be some type of rare reprint. And the reason why I brought this up is because I don't know what this card is. I don't remember the 1992 OPG having these the reprints be that rare in there. Um, and, and and again, this is not his rookie card. This is a reprint from 92. So if anybody in the chat can give us any a hand on it, why this sold for so much, which is absolutely mind-boggling to me. Um, I wonder what the pop is, dude. It says it, right there, very rare card. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> why? That's what Can't scares you read? Me. They needed, they needed the fire emoji in there, too. It would have been a 1,000 if they would have had that. <laughs> all, right. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, uh, this is a 2020 Panini Prism Gold Vinyl Joe oh. Burrow rookie and numbered out of five. It's, I mean, you can, I don't need to yeah. go find out how much it sold for. To, to, that's a lot of money, no yeah. matter what. Yeah. Um, so uh, here we go. A Zion Williamson out of 199 Panini Prism Blue uh, PSA 10 Gem Mint sold for $16,000. Wow. Bro. Oh, man. man. But the blue looks so good with the jersey, doesn't it? It, it looks beautiful. Yeah, dude. Like, I gotta good. buy. If I was like, if I was, if I was Zion all day, all night, dude. Oh, and that is I was beautiful. gonna spend sixteen thousand four hundred on Zion card. It'd probably be that one. Well, let's talk about that real quick because people do spend more money if the color matches the the card. Well, for instance, yep. um, the gold Joe Burrow. Like, if this is a 49er, this card, the gold looks gorgeous on it. If you get the black one on one, and it's a Raider, like I did. I'm hoping yeah. to sell mine for an extra for that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. that's that's what people love that stuff. Um, same with if like you get numbered cards and it's like the same number as the player. Um, hey, you know, eBay one on ones, baby. Uh, here's a Trey <laughs> Young uh, red rookie. Perfect example. The red goes good yep. with the Atlanta Hawks uh, jersey. This is out of eighty eight. This is a PSA ten gem mint sold for thirty four hundred dollars. This is so crazy. It, so it's crazy, crazy right now, but I, I think. Everybody's gonna see this. I, I'm a Trey Young. I got a Trey Young in the bag too. Not like this, but it's um. I, this might be one of those ones that 3,400 might look like chump change in a couple of years, depending. Yeah, on how I, I, goes. I was literally gonna say what Dino said, so I don't have to say it. Oh, good. Well, this is interesting. More. This is very interesting. Uh, <laughs> Fortnite. I was cards. thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> Fortnite cards. Uh, 7,800, 2,800 for these Fortnite cards. I have no clue about Fortnite cards. Um, I thought. I those, how do you get a Fortnite card? Does it come out? They, of they the sell internet? them in the stores. They sell yeah, them in boxes. They're, yeah, they're in boxes. Yeah, it's like it's like Minecraft. Minecraft I'm has old. cards too. We, yeah. We're very old, bro. I'm so to see old. this for seventy eight hundred. I don't even know what. Like, chat, hit me up. Tell me no. Let me let us know in the comments what's up with the Fortnite cards and. No, it's and, because it's because the card matches his eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, uh, listen, uh, we talk about it all the time. Same reason the Pokemon cards are going crazy. Like that Logan Paul guy made millions off of NFTs opening a Pokemon box. He sold the NFTs love. videos of him opening a Pokemon box and made millions of it. So these kids are getting older. Right. They're, they're spending they're spending money. Um, but, all right. So what about the ones people leave at the stores? That's what I was gonna say because like so so there's so there's nothing left anyway. You, you go to Walmart and Target, all you get is Magic and Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. So I guess just start fucking buying it. Uh, at this point, I don't know, man. It might be getting there. Look at this. Who would have ever thought that just a regular card out of this set, the 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 PSA ten version of it, would sell for twelve hundred dollars? But multiple cards in the set sold for over a thousand dollars this week. Um, yeah, there was a we're gonna and we're gonna try to talk Stein into doing a box break for us. Yeah, a live box break and see cool. if we can get some pull some tens out of there. But as you can see, it's easy to it's easy to tell borders in this. So so good on these. Um, it'll be interesting to see what it looks these look like coming out of factory sealed packs that were plastic though. So I don't know about that. All right, here we go, guys. For all you mm -hmm. everybody out there that didn't there believe me that there was a boner C three PO card that sells for a lot. This is the 1977 C-3PO Air, um, the one that I did not pick up, even though I talk about it all the time. I'm such a moron. Uh, PSA 8 wow. sold for $685. Did it say boner in the... No, title? it just says Air. I wish it air. did. It just says Anthony Daniels Air. But What's wrong with his boner? <laughs> he has one, bro. No, but the Air. 
It's not supposed to be it's there. To be there. Curve. Oh. It's Curve. just it, they they airbrushed it out. It's and called the little. Made... It's called the little the Little Mermaid effect. Yeah, <laughs> Latin <laughs> Latin, right. Yeah. All right, you guys, Garbage Pail Kids fans. Oh boy. Jesus. Wow. Yes. How about a PSA Thank nine off centered or a little bit off centered one? Uh, Adam Baum oh, selling okay. for eighteen hundred, and then a PSA ten Billy. Uh, Blasted Billy, his counterpart, selling for almost six thousand dollars. I don't know these three years ago when you were talking about them. <sighs> I'm, gonna grade the, I'm grading the minis. That's it. Should you I? have to. Yeah, Should, I got it, dude. You get, did you give me original Adam Bomb eighty five? When you I, me- I, I think I gave you a mini. I think I sent you okay. a mini. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he sent me a mini series. He sent you a mini. Good. Um, my second favorite card of the first series, uh, my first favorite, of course, is Fry and Brian, but uh, my second favorite card out of that series is uh, this one, Dead Ted, and a PSA 10 Ooh. gem mint sold for $3,100. I love it, dude. Such a good card, though. Such a beautiful. I wish it that is art is so good, man. That is some of the best art uh, of the whole se- of the whole uh, series, that's for sure. But um, all right, so this let's see here, Star Wars cards. God where you at, damn. Nico? Where you at? God damn! Nineteen seventy-seven, Luke, a number one at PSA eight, sold for almost two. You guys grand. are just gonna keep like rubbing it in that I left boxes of those behind. Like, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. A PSA nine R two D two and three PO sold for almost five for four fifty, and a Han Solo PSA nine sold for a thousand. How about this one, guys? A wow. ton of these uh, three Stooges cards sold for over the weekend, oh, and a lot of money. At least it doesn't say rookie card in the listing. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. If someone said rookie card in the listting, dude, I was like. <laughs> Yeah, this what, is a what big card two years ago. Two, uh, two years ago, what's this cost? Um, so here's the thing, and I tell these guys all the time, when I first started Flipside, which is probably about two years ago, these yeah. cards weren't that expensive. You could probably get this card for $1,000. I would have left it for a dollar in a store. <laughs> I mean, They're so I, hard I, to I get might not have left it for a dollar, but I would have left it for this 10 is- this is a PSA yeah. eight, guys. This isn't a ten. This is yeah, a PSA eight. Yeah, but if it was ten dollars, I'd have been convinced it was a reprint. You could probably get this. Somebody for like would have had to have like given me a speech about like, you know, so this is from nineteen fifty nine. It's a real card. It was found in the collection. Like then, I still, like how much do you want for it? I don't I, know. I would have seen a twenty five dollar price sticker and went eh. So my, my cigarette purchase of um, Gone with the Wind on that cigarette box, Brian, is probably looking pretty good right now. Yeah, like man. The 30s oh, yeah. or 40s. Well, you guys want to really trip out. How about this one? This is the Wonder Bread set from Star Wars. These are multiple sales. All of you all lost. Oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah, that's crazy, right? That's um, beyond Doesn't crazy. Doesn't even come with the bread. Doesn't Dude. even come with the bread. No, sir. Well, if it I did, we'd to, make I, Brian eat it. Yeah, yeah, get the hell out of here. Right I now. think I got some 19, 1988 Northern California, Will Clark and Mark McGuire Hostess Cookie. Wait, no, Mother's Cookies cards? I tried that. Photos. I think I'm going to do whatever. Somebody's got to be dumb enough. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I have a stack of Garbage Pail Kid gum. Uh, the, the, and that's what I did try, and it was terrible. But I have a stack of it waiting for Nick Hart. I'm gonna send it to him. Yes. <laughs> Elliot. Yeah.